guys, it's the 80 Superstars here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some books for your AG dolls, and these are what they look like, and they're super cute. And I only made two today, so this is an idea from Mixie Pixie 7 and you should definitely subscribe to her, she's really awesome, and yeah, so let's get on to the tutorial. You're going to need thin cardboard, either from a cereal box or a back of a notebook, scissors, glue stick, and an old book. We're going to go into Google Images and type in book, books, front and back, or you could type in like Twilight front and back, or just book, um, whatever, like, whatever. And so you get a whole bunch of different kind of books if you type that in. And, uh, these books, I don't really know what they are, but I'll just do some of these books. And you would just right-click it and click Print Picture right here. And then this should come up, I think. This is in the Mac, so and then you would just click your printer. And you can go to Preciouses, Preciouses, click Page Setup. I would click scaled printing and 131 gets the perfect size book because that's the size of my books. 131 to 130. And you click OK. And print. I um, printed out my templates and I tried doing catching fire but it got really big for some reason. I don't know why. So I just found two random books. It's called My Life Map and then one The Donna. These books I don't even know. And the first thing you're going to do first is start by cutting out your templates. So I cut out both of my book templates. And the next thing you're going to do is glue them onto your cardboard. You do not need to do this. You do not need to glue, put on cardboard to your books. You can leave it paperback. I just chose to do one paperback and one hardcover because um, that's just my decision. And you can do whatever you want. You can do both paperback or both hardcover, whatever you would like. I glued my book template onto the cardboard, and then you can cut it out. But if you didn't um, do paperback, just start. Just wait for the next step. So just cut out your book out of your cardboard like so get it nice and even and once you have a spine what you can do is get like a ruler or I have this thick piece of cardboard and you could start bending on a line or whatever and then start like bending like that and just crease it for this part, you're just going to need your scissors, your book, and your your little old book. Oh, are you serious? I'll go get the phone. Okay, guys. So, sorry about that again. But, what we're doing first is you're going to kind of get your book and kind of just find... And kind of, it's as thick as your binding. So, you're going to kind of like open it and like figure out how why do you want it or you could just use paper if you don't have an old book or but this is a good width so you would either rip it out like I did uh, this part I made these two books out of it so it's like that and it's just like the new part and I can make one more using this but it's too thin I make me use it deep. But I'm just going to cut it. I'm not going to take it out of the book. But that's as wide. You know, I actually need to. And I'll use it for other books. Oops. Oh. I kind of ripped. I didn't do a very good job as I did the other one. I'm going to kind of do it up here. And already, it's a really thick book. As you can see, and don't worry, this is not wasting. It's actually recycling. 
recycling. I don't know what the heck I said. Re Sorry about that. That's my little sister talking in the background. And Aaliyah, be quiet. Sorry about that. And this is really thick, so it's really hard to cut. So it's going to take me a while to cut this. So I'll that was so hurtful. Like, my hand's so red. So what I'm going to do is kind of straighten it out. Kind of. And it's not going to look the best, but what you're going to do is you just put it in your book. And that's too wide. Okay, so I'm done with the book, and all I did was I took a glue stick and put it on the spine of the paper. And just glued it in, and I'm just waiting, if you see, so this paper kind of splitted, but I put glue on there. But it really works, and I just kind of push oh, no, on the spine. Like that, and I just let it dry. So now I'm going to make the paperback book really fast, and I'll show you what it looks when I'm done.